And then there were 16. So the drama continues at the Bank of Hope LPGA match play, and I would expect nothing less in Las Vegas. Day three is complete, and there's a lot to talk about. I'm Hope Barnett, and you're watching LPGA Now. Let's get into it. When I talk about drama, this is what I mean. Texan Cheyenne Knight had this incredible oh, yes. shot on 18 to tie the match Get against Se Young Kim to advance to the group of 16. Cheyenne Knight to advance. You know, for me, I don't spin the ball that great, so I really have to play the bounce on these greens, so it's a lot to think about. But on this hole, it was great to, you know, get a half. You know, I just tried to take her to 18 after, you know, she had a great shot on 16. So, yeah, I'm really excited to be moving on. Um, first time I've done that here. And going head to head with Cheyenne on Saturday is Padre and Anna Rukar. But that match did not come easy to Padre. Harris Davidson defeated her in their match to send them to a playoff. Padre would then beat Karis in one hole to advance. Another eventful match was this one, Anna Nordquist against Andrea Lee. A back and forth match to say the least. Andrea had this clutch putt on 17 to remain tied, but it ultimately wouldn't matter because Anna would go on to do this on 18. I just love the intensity that Anna brings to match play. You could see it in the way that she walked into that shot right there. And this, this could be special. Wow. So they would finish with a draw for Anna to advance with a record of two wins and one tie. I love match play. Uh, you, you just never know what's going to happen. Uh, it's been t it's some tough component or uh, competitors um, that I played against this week. So I'm just very happy to move on. And she'll face off against Albon Valenzuela, who won all the matches in her group, where she also took down the number one seeded player, Lilia Vu, earlier in the week. The other players who won all their matches are Leona McGuire, Maya Stark, Ayaka Fudue, Celine Boutier, and Carlota Saganda. Out of those six, two of them will be playing each other Saturday morning. Japan's Ayaka Fudue and Sweden's Maya Stark. This should be good. So if you're a visual person like myself, this bracket will help. So we went from 64 to 16 players, and these are the people who will be battling it out in the morning. And then 16 will become eight Saturday afternoon in the quarterfinals. So with several entertaining matches leading up to this point, there is still a lot of golf left to be played. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Be sure to tune in on Saturday from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern time to find out who will advance to Sunday.